Hi, I am Harish Gaudetti and welcome to my channel. This channel is about business, technology and personal growth. I'm so excited to talk about today's video which is really uh, how to take your business online. It's an interesting topic because of what's going on in the world today. Um, businesses which are uh, tied to a specific store or tied tied to a specific location are actually struggling whereas businesses that are online are actually thriving right and there are a lot of businesses that are online and are actually i don't say thriving um, i'll take it back but they're actually doing well compared to the businesses that are serving a local region or you know things like that so i'm going to show you uh, my uh, my framework about how do you scale uh, uh, scale uh, by taking your business online um, so before getting into that topic uh, let me explain you know before starting easy Biz systems uh, which is my consulting firm um, so till 2019 I was um, you know I was a successful software architect back in the US uh, earning a very decent income but I always wanted to start my own um, thing because with 15 years of experience in various roles uh, which I'll share a little bit later uh, I'm pretty confident I was pretty confident that I could really make a difference um, with consulting so what I did is I really picked um, the small businesses because that's where I found uh, I shared the story about why I ha why I, I became passionate about small businesses um, it's really because uh, when I came back to India I met a lot of I, I opened my own small business which is an indoor play area for kids and then I met a lot of these local business people who are struggling with technology who are struggling to scale because they didn't have the technology expertise uh, that I had so for me the questions they asked like seemed obvious but unfortunately for them uh, it was not um, so eventually uh, I figured out okay I have to leverage all my corporate experience and years of knowledge that I acquired to help these small businesses. So that's how EZB Systems was born and now I am really um, helping small businesses scale, uh, small business owners scale their businesses exponentially uh, with technology uh, like Kissflow uh, and also um, you know with my consulting experience so that's that's my story and that's uh, that's what got me passionate about small businesses and today uh, as I said uh, one of the ways to scale your small business is take it take your business online and I'm going to show you how to take your business online uh, you know using a framework that I developed that really worked for my clients um, so let's get started so how do you take your business online so that that's what this video is about right so let's get started and see um, so before uh, I just wanted to share a little bit about me um, so I spent over 15 years in IT industry in various roles um, primarily my entire 15 year journey uh, 14 years of it was in large MNCs like multi-billion dollar companies that made me really um, understand how these large businesses uh, scale very quickly um, what I, I built many teams and products um, during my 15 year career and scale them to 20 member team 30 member teams and uh, I know because um, you know I know firsthand how to do that and the second thing is it's really easy to do that uh, in a large um, uh, multinational corporation because everyone knows uh, that you know we are actually scaling uh, you know when you start a product we know that it is to serve all maybe the 10,000 customers they have or 20,000 customers they have right so we know scaling is is the uh, is the beginning like we have that always in our mind unfortunately with small businesses um, that is not the thought the owners have when they start it um, so it becomes a little difficult and challenging to scale it um, so my expertise brings uh, you know uh, makes it really easy for the small business owners to scale their business so today uh, we're going to talk about one of the scaling methods on one way to scale your business is to take your business online and how do you do that so before we talk about how let's talk about why you should take your business online so 87 percent of purchases today happen start online i don't say happen but they start online so i mean think about yourself like think about what you do let's say you want to buy a new car where do you start do you 
directly walk into the showroom um, and test it out I believe you will start looking at the uh, reviews looking at uh, you know if you are in the US Calibre work and things like that um, so in India we have other websites so you start looking at those things you start reading the reviews watch some YouTube videos so you do a lot of decision making process online before you actually unfilter let's say you have 10 types of cars that you want uh, that you know that fit your need or fit your requirement uh, you will narrow down to three or four even before you step into the showroom right so that's the same with even um, other uh, all your customers uh, when they want let's say you are running a fencing uh, you know uh, 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 you know you build fences or you build walls or whatever it is business accounting um, they want to start for first see who they who's online who's um, you know who's doing that and then you actually go ahead and uh, they, they come to you so 87 percent of purchases start online um, so if you're not online people it's hard to trust people these days unless you have a very strong circle and you do business within that circle and don't get me wrong that is a very lucrative business and in India especially in in, in, uh, in my hometown there are businesses that do upwards of million or two million a year and they don't even have a website because they're very strong relationships maybe it's a fourth generation business or a third generation business they don't really need it because they have enough connections that they do five six million dollars uh, or you know uh, 10 to 15 crores of business in Indian rupees uh, without even having a website because that's how they built it and for them there is no need so not all businesses need it if you have a very you are a fourth generation business owner or whatever and you, you think it is not the good need for you it's fine uh, but most businesses that are start that have started recently and if you're the first generation you definitely need to go online um, the, the third one is uh, online going or taking your business online uh, is actually one of the foundations of scaling your business so this becomes your foundation because you're going to learn a lot it's not about just growing your business you're going to learn a lot about uh, how do you scale your business if you take your business online because you're going to get a lot of orders you're going to get a lot of requests so how do you handle that you will build systems so there's a lot of things that will happen um, because of this so this becomes a foundation or uh, taking your business online becomes a foundation for it uh, improves customer engagement and value uh, when you have a online presence people ask questions online like in Google uh, Google places or Google my business they start asking questions or if you have a Facebook page they start engaging so a lot of stuff start you know the momentum starts and uh, you'll gain momentum and uh, customer engagement improves when customer engagement improves the value of your business will go high so that's another thing and as I said, you'll also learn a lot more about your core business. So you understand that you are not really in whatever business you think you are, but you are really in the marketing or a people a relationship building business. So that's what it will uh, end end up with uh, when you go online. So you learn a lot about it. Uh, you'll discover new opportunities that will generate a lot of revenue. Uh, trust me on that because when I my my took my business online. People who I didn't expect found me and I got really good business from them so you'll get a lot of new opportunities when you take your business online you never know what will come your way uh, but uh, it'll, it'll be all good so uh, that will really help taking your business online will really help you discover new opportunities and new revenue streams so that's the why that I believe these you know five or six things over here are good enough uh, to convince you to take your business online so now let's talk about my five step framework uh, to take your business online so there are five steps in my framework uh, that I developed and that work really well for my clients uh, step one define the goal for your online business um, you might if you watch my other video which is digital workplace strategy masterclass in that also I have the first step of my framework as goals even here I have it as a goal without a goal I don't really see how a business can um, really do what they want to do um, so goal is is the first step so what do you want to do when you take your business online right so we are going to work on that so step one of the framework is define a goal for your online business 
step to create a landing page you don't need a website yet you just need a landing page so people when they come in they understand who you are what you do and how, how to contact you right as simple as that one page one landing page and that's pretty much it to begin with um, then start a Facebook and or LinkedIn depending on where you get where you think your audience are um, create a Facebook page or LinkedIn page I suggest both if you have some time to manage um, but um, pick a pick one to begin with and create a page uh, the fourth step in on my in my framework is create a website or sales funnel I'll explain the difference between a website and a sales funnel uh, and step why uh, published content um, we'll talk more about the content aspect as well so these are the five steps this is a five step framework that I developed I learned this uh, over a period of time like I said in the 15 years I mean, I, there are many projects that I worked on some failed some work you know some were excellent uh, got excellent results so when I look at all the things that I did and things that really worked this is what we did uh, for things that worked and uh, that becomes eventually became my framework like I picked all the things that worked in different projects that I worked on and uh, that got good results and this is what that what we have right so this is my framework to scale online um, so let's get started with step one goal setting um, a well defined so as I said in my other video digital workplace masterclass um, goals define the direction of your change so change is constant if you're not if you don't believe it uh, it's time you believe my friend because a change is something that's constant your things are always changing um, and goals will help you steer you in the direction of the change that you want um, so a well-defined goal for your online business will save you months of trial and error trust me I did this I failed miserably in the past um, uh, I, start, I started an online business which didn't work out uh, and that because I didn't really have any goals uh, for the online business and that really um, uh, caused all these problems so second thing um, so how do you write some goals so here's how you some write some common goals I generate I generate dash visitors by dash to my website meaning I generate probably 100 visitors by next week to my website or something like that uh, website or landing page I sell you know if that traffic is your uh, main goal the first one is works if selling online is your goal I sell $500 worth products and services by something on my website right so that's another that's about uh, selling direct selling if you have a product the next thing is I convert if you're a consulting type of business I convert 5% um, or 10% of visitors uh, on my website so that is uh, about uh, converting uh, your customers so that is the conversion aspect of it um, if you are uh, have a Facebook or LinkedIn page I have dash number of followers like thousand followers on my Facebook page uh, so these are the different uh, these are the common type of goals that you can write for your online business but that's uh, pretty much uh, it so you can come up with new ones but if you, these are these, these goals are a good start uh, for your business so uh, I gave you four examples so, uh, pick a goal right I mean depends on what kind of business you are in um, so pick a goal and get started with it uh, step two is about creating a landing page so the, there's only one objective uh, for a landing page and that is to convert visitors so if you are not aware of what landing page should look like modeling is the best technique so you just need to model uh, you know uh, things so this URL where it says uh, fan, uh, fantastic landing page examples you can google it uh, but I can just show you um, that page so as you see this page really explains um, it has a lot of very good examples but that's the reason I chose this page um, you know it has probably 10 I think um, you know that really helps you um, figure out like what kind of landing page is good for you so that's about the landing page and there are so many tools um, that you can use to build a landing pages uh, lead pages um, you know then you have uh, thrive thrive themes uh, so there are so many tools that you um, that you can use to build landing pages so that's um, that's basically the uh, the landing page right so um, so let me go back to my uh, slide 
yeah so step three is about um, start Facebook or a LinkedIn page um, so if you uh, you can choose any social media but the thing is once you start your page spend at least 30 minutes a day uh, to post something interesting and engaging on your page uh, and invite everyone on in your network to follow the page right so that's those are three steps that you do as part of the um, as part of this um, Facebook and LinkedIn page the next step is create a website or sales funnel um, simple difference between website and sales funnel um, websites are equal to brochures so whatever when you go out and go to a store they hand over your brochure which is which shows everything that you do right so websites are that like you have it's like a brochure online brochure and sales funnel is a conversion machine so sales funnel is really about it has one aspect like every um, sales funnel uh, has one you know uh, will address only one product one service um, you know and then it will take you through the journey and then uh, it has only one specific objective uh, you know to achieve uh, which is conversion and uh, really to uh, for customers to convert um, so my sales funnel, which is I, I, I use Kissflow, right? My that's my sales funnel. Uh, Kissflow.easybizsystems.com um, takes you to my um, starts with you with my sales funnel, which is my homepage for my product for my services that I do. Uh, so that make a choice based on your goal. So for example, if you are just want a web presence to stay, uh, to steer traffic to your website, then in, uh, even on website for each page, you can have one specific call to action and let people take it. Um, so make a choice based on your uh, uh, goals. Uh, if you have a sales model that don't need online sales, then just a website would do. But if you want people to buy your product online or sp pay online, um, then you need a sales funnel. Um, so that's that's the whole topic. We can go deep dive into one specific, this particular step for the whole day um, during a workshop so that's how deep it is um, but step four create a website or a framework and finally step five is publishing content good content builds trust and shows that you know something uh, right and second you will improve your knowledge as you share things uh, right so that is the real reason for building content you'll research you will learn more uh, to share a lot more value to your clients and customers or online visitors so you will improve your knowledge as you build more content and people will start taking you seriously uh, because um, they'll keep seeing you adding more content and adding more value so they'll take you seriously and your business seriously and eventually they'll convert um, and you will become an expert in your industry the more you study about your industry the more you learn about sharing that what you learned as part of content you'll become an expert um, at it um, it the content has a compound effect on your business so what is a compound effect uh, you run you understand compound interest right so let's say take one penny uh, or one paisa or one rupee whatever currency it is and uh, double it uh, for 30 days right so that's compounding uh, every every day um, so on the 29th day for a month if you do i think you, you should know this exercise or, uh, or this thing on a 29th day you will only have half of what you'll have on the 30th right so that's how, com how compounding works and co publishing content uh, has a compound effect it won't have now but over a period of time it will have a compound effect when you do it consistently um, so that's step number five of my framework publish the content so people uh, start understanding you taking you seriously and you they see you as a go-to person on the topics in your um, relevant industry so now I'm going to show you a real example on how on how we scale the uh, scaled online business uh, we took a business online and scaled it um, so that site is uh, it's an accounting firm it's called tackle tax it's a local accounting firm who, uh, who used to serve uh, local clients uh, in, in my hometown um, but uh, once we uh, we actually took this business online build a website um, right and with uh, really around what they want to do um, and uh, which accepts online payments and stuff now this local small town business all of a sudden become a national um, can serve customers across India right so what you see on the front end um, is nothing um, you know it's just it looks simple 
but in order to do all this work uh, process all these services that business owner um, you know had to really uh, significantly improve his um, awareness knowledge and he, he became a different um, uh, individual once we understood how all these things really work so now they are uh, they are serving clients nationwide so tell me do you think in a, in a, in a situation like COVID where people are not you know businesses are down do you think there are chances of keeping your income stable or actually earn more when you serve, take your business online and serve more customers it's a no-brainer right so you just go ahead take your business online and make you know drive term, drive some traffic to it and uh, with no time right people will start learning about your business and you will get business across the country and not I mean if you don't not forget world if even if you get um, traffic from across your multiple towns you're good you know right? so that's how powerful the scaling method is taking your business online is one of the powerful or the foundation scaling methods uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and this is the example that I wanted to show and uh, if you have questions or if you have comments and if you have uh, if you want to really take your business online understand what it takes in the back end to build something the infrastructure to actually take your business online reach out to me anytime um, send me an email and then I can reach out to you uh, and we can discuss on how to take your small business on it doesn't matter which country you are in I have clients across the world uh, in multiple countries so uh, again my business is online so I can serve not just India not just my hometown you know Australia as long as I have an overlap with uh, the time um, I can serve um, not that I can't do it but I don't prefer uh, serving clients who don't have any time overlap uh, time zone overlap with me so I can do Australia I can do UK I can do India Singapore, uh, Australia, uh, US, uh, even West Coast, right? So all these countries I can do because it has overlap with my time zone. So if you have any questions on how to take your business online and need my help, uh, reach out to me, send me an email. And then, uh, you know, this channel is again about um, personal growth, business and technology. So subscribe to this channel so you can learn more about these topics. Thank you and uh, we'll watch, um, you know, stay tuned for my next video.